Okay, today we're going to be tying up another uh, little March Brown merger um, that you can fish kind of as a dry fly or as a, um, you know, a little swung, swung uh, soft hackle type bug. Um, I'm using some 70 denier Danville thread along with, um, along with a TMC 100 and a size 12. Um, so, you know, size 12 through, size 10 through 14 is usually what we're looking for in these bugs. Um, thread was a little frayed there, so I just give it a little bit more of a base. Okay, wrap into about where the barb would be. This is, um, I debarb that TMC 100. Uh, for the tail, I'm just using some mallard flank and wood duck gold. I'm just gonna line up some tips here on this stuff. I don't need too heavy of a tail, about that much there. I don't know, that's maybe 10 or so fibers. Just gonna line all these up, trim off those curly ends that kind of keep everything attached. And then this will have a little bit of a curve, so it doesn't really matter. It doesn't affect the, f the, the fishability of this fly all that much, but I like to just make those curve up a little bit there. So you can kind of set those with one semi-loose wrap, and then I just go kind of wide spacing wraps forward and then touching turns backward. Okay, what's that? So I'm gonna just trim up these butt ends here. Now for the body, I'm using a tan turkey biot quill. So I'm gonna just take off a quill from the side um, opposite the, you know, the wing fibers. There's that. And these have a little kind of translucent edge that you can see, I'm sure if you've watched any biot body fly tying videos, you've seen people do this, but I'm just gonna trim that translucent edge off of there, all the way up. And then once you get to a certain point where your scissors don't wanna cut it anymore, you can just kind of pull it. Okay, so I'm gonna tie that with the curve. There's a natural curve of this feather. I'm gonna tie that with the curve facing towards me. And we're making this body relatively short. So I'm gonna just get this set into my hackle pliers and start wrapping this quill forward here. Just reverse my thread a little bit, flatten it out. Okay, that's just about good. Okay, tie off your biot quill, trim it up, and now. I'm just gonna go with some microfine dry fly dub and tan. Not a whole lot of it. That amount there is good. This microfine is good because you get a real tight, tight dubbing noodle there, so you can kind of control the size of it a little bit more accurately. So I'm gonna just start wrapping this here, making a bit of a ball ball, ball, okay, there we go. So now I'm going with a, um, this package has two different colors. I think that it's uh, golden straw and not uh, March brown. It says March brown on the tag, golden straw on the uh, other side, but I think that this is golden straw just looking at it. So I'm gonna take one feather. That's just a whiting 100 pack graded to a size 12. Um, I'm gonna tie this in 
with the shiny side facing away from me. Right about there. And just fold that stem back and tie it off just to really lock that in place. Okay. Now I'm going to just wrap this forward here. I'm only going to give that one or two turns before I tie it off. Okay, and then if you have some extra extra hackle fibers like that, I just kind of preen them back with my thumb and my index finger, tie them all down like such, and then it'll kind of um, force those those hackle fibers rearward, which is how I like this thing to look. Um, so now I'm going to just take one CDC feather, and you can do this a few different ways. You can do it in a CDC clamp like that. You can um, you can uh, you know tie a bunch of feathers in by the tip. But I pretty much will just take you know work with about one feather like that. Peel some fibers off. Kind of clean up those tips on the end. Or I guess the butts on the end. Tie those in. There's probably a better way to do this, but this is how I do it. Okay, just make a nice little head there. Um, and I end up using about one whole feather for this, so bear with me. We can kind of speed this up if we need to. just until you get a nice kind of simulation of a wing. One more. So that actually on, only ended up being about half of a feather. And that's plenty. I'm going to just tie that in. Kind of clean up those butt ends a little bit. And then give this a little whip finish. Okay, just popped right off. Um, okay, so then here I just take that and just right about quarter of the way up the tail, I'll just trim that to make all those ends nice and even. And you know, if you got a little bit of buildup on the head, you can take a little cautery tool and just kind of uh, burn that stuff up. Clean up the eye just a little bit so you're not, um, I kind of messed it up a little bit. I usually do that after I whip finish just so the thread is all, or after I uh, put head cement on there just so the thread is nice and um, nice and sealed. So yeah, cautery after you do that. Anyway, give this thing a shot. It's a pretty good little March Brown emerger. Thanks.